Hey, how's it going, guys? Hope you're all having a great time. Today, we're going to be talking about how you're going to go through King's Canyon and successfully gain RP and pro players' thought process through certain situations such as rotations, guns, loadouts, and taking fights and evading fights at the same time. I'm also going to give you a few tips and tricks on what you're supposed to do during your ranked matches and stuff that just you just got to keep in mind. First thing when it comes to ranked, you got to get your team composition right. Currently, the best team composition to use in Kings Canyon for ranked is Wraith, Watson, and Pathfinder. When it comes to ranked, you need Wraith for the endgame portals and in general getting your team out of sticky situations. You need Watson for holding down buildings and areas and not only that, you need Watson for preventing third parties and creating choke points. And in general, having a Watson and keeping up those Watson fences uh, deters enemies from usually pushing through it. At least it makes them think twice. Also, I'd recommend taking Watson instead of Gibraltar because Gibraltar is meant for more aggressive gameplay. And that's okay until the, in, into the Platinum ranks. But once you get into the Diamonds, the Masters, the higher up ranks, you're going to need a uh, Watson instead of a Gibraltar. You're going to have to slow down your gameplay as well. That's very important. Once it comes to a uh, high ranked gameplay, you definitely need to slow down your playstyle, even though it might be counterintuitive to your pub's playstyle. You're going to have to maybe take an early game fight, and that's when you're going to get your kill points, say one or two. And once you have like your one or two kill points, settle down and then focus on endgame. That's where your third character comes into handy, and that's Pathfinder. You definitely need a Pathfinder on your ranked team because in ranked, uh, information is key. And the, mo the most key information is where your zones are going to end. And that's how we transition into our rotations. Planning your rotations is definitely an important part of ranked. You cannot just run in a straight line towards the zone wherever you think is the most obvious way. Because wherever you think of rotating into zone, you gotta remember that there's at least two other squads coming from your direction that have the same idea and are pushing towards the same rotation. So you've gotta think outside the box and probably pull out different rotation methods and maybe take a longer direction and sometimes even take a bit of zone damage if it's zone one in order to secure a safe rotation because when you have a pathfinder, the first thing you need to do is scan the beacon so you know where each zone is going to be. At least try to get one or two scans off in each game so that you're, you stay two steps ahead when it comes to your rotations. And definitely when it comes to rotations, do not go for a straightforward rotation. You definitely need to go for an outside the box rotation. So you need to take a long cut. So you need to go around areas. Don't run through choke points and try to avoid general high traffic areas as well. Now when it comes to ranked uh, and surviving endgame, you definitely need to set up your house with a Watson or you need to set up your area with Watson in advance or at least an area, a closed area with Watson. Because in endgame, it does get pretty tight with multiple squads, such as like 10 squads in, in round five. Uh, I, I've seen worse, but yeah you definitely need a Watson to keep you safe and also uh, let the other teams do dirty work for you. You do not need to get into the nitty gritty. You do not need to get into every single gunfight you see and you do not need to take them. And also backing out of gunfights when you know that there's a third party coming in or you, you got to predict the third party coming in whenever your gunfight lasts for more than 30 seconds because this is King's Canyon and the moment your gunfight lasts for longer than 30 seconds you will get third partied from anywhere. No matter where you think it was safe there will be squads coming in to get that juicy loot and those easy kills. When it comes to surviving the end game, your loadouts definitely have to be something of high damage per second, your high DPS guns, such as your Peacekeepers, your Prowler Select Fires, R99, or your Devotion Mastiff. These are the kind of guns you're gonna need for end game. Definitely when it comes to end game, try to swap out your short, your long range guns, such as your G7s or your Hemlocks, for a short range weapon, especially if, it's, if there's a lot of teams in the zone, you're gonna need to keep that because when it comes to end game and the circles get tight, having a high DPS weapon at, the, at your hand is definitely useful because you can put down enemies way faster 
and especially having a one-shot weapon like a peacekeeper should definitely come in handy. Also having open communication with your teammates is definitely an important part of ranked. If you're not communicating with your teammates and having a bad chemistry within your team is definitely gonna hinder your ranked progress and it's definitely gonna make it tougher. Running with running ranked with people that you have fun with and you also have a good line of communication with and you also see on the same page is definitely uh, better than running with somebody who's better at the game than your previous teammates but you don't have a good communication with them and you definitely you definitely don't vibe with them i don't know i don't know what it is about ranked but vibing with someone definitely hits better you know i'm just saying yeah hope you enjoyed um the video uh that was just a few tips and tricks I was going to get into. Uh, I might make a loadout or class setup video a bit later on to get into a lot more details about what you guys should use and why you should use them. But for now, this is me signing off. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. You guys can catch me live on Twitch. I stream every single day. Links in the description. But in case you guys forgot, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and smash a like on the video if you enjoy the content. Anyway, I'm going to leave you guys with an intense, insane endgame. So, hope you guys enjoyed that gameplay. So, yeah. Peace out, guys. Wait, I'm, I'm just gonna... Hold up. I cracked one up top, I him for 70. Fuck, I hit the wrong guy. I but I cracked him though. Heal up bro, heal up. Heal up, GMT. They're, bro, they're all three stacked above you right now. Yo, right, right, right here in front of me, in front of me, you're super weak. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Follow me. On your, on your, on your, come me. I'm coming in from behind these guys. Go on, go on, go on, go on. I'm healing. I'm coming to help you. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. Fucking win these! We fucking win these, bro! I fucking crush! Holy shit! I just fried everybody in the end with the Devo. Oh my god! You are the Apex champions. Oh my fucking god! Bro, I went, I went apeshit crazy in the end, bro. <laughs> All of my damage and everything came at the end.